There are some numbers that are very specific to traders and trading, and I'd like to discuss these with you, let you know a little bit of the history behind them. Hi there, my name is Russ Horn, and today I want to talk to you about the Fibonacci numbers. Now, if you're familiar with me and any of my trading systems, almost every moving average that I use, whatever I have a period for, it will almost always be a Fibonacci number. 21 EMA, 34, a 55 EMA, a 2, a 3, a 5, something like this. They're all Fibonacci numbers. Now, why is that the case? Well, Fibonacci numbers seem to resonate with the market the best. The most effective settings for an awful lot of indicators seem to be the Fibonacci numbers. Now, let me explain a little bit what a Fibonacci number is. First of all, we're going to take a look at the bottom here. Now, I've got this label on the chart, Fibonacci numbers, and underneath, we have something called the Fibonacci sequence. And the Fibonacci sequence goes 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, 233, 377, 610, and 987, and so on. Now, how do these numbers come to being? How are these specific numbers? Well, Fibonacci, who was a mathematician, uh, Leonardo of Pisa, and he was known as Fibonacci. He was around in the 1200s, the early 1200s, 1202. Uh, he had a book called Liber Abaci. And it introduced the Fibonacci sequence to the Western world. Now, he was a mathematician that really related to nature. Now, this Fibonacci sequence that he developed, and I'll explain the, the mathematical process behind this. It's really quite simple. Uh, what he did was take the first two numbers, add them together to give you the next number, and then take the last two numbers, add them together to give you the next number. And then the last two numbers, add them together to give you the next number. So in the Fibonacci sequence of 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on, what he did was add the 0 and the 1 to give you a 1. And that's where the second 1 comes from. And then you add those two numbers together, the 1 and the 1, and that gives you 2. And then you add the 2 and the previous number 1 together to give you 3. And then 3 and the 2 give you 5. The 5 and the 3 give you 8. The 8 and the 5 give you 13. The 13 and the 8 give you 21, and so on. And this is the Fibonacci sequence. Now again, these are numbers that seem to resonate with the market the best. Now I've used all kinds of numbers in my different trading programs, um, but the Fibonacci numbers are the ones that seem to carry the most weight. They seem to be the most efficient and the most effective. And these are my go-to numbers. Now, I've got them memorized. I've used them long enough that I don't even have to think about what they are. So if you are looking for settings for your indicators that aren't quite right, I would suggest start applying some Fibonacci numbers and seeing how those work. All right. The Fibonacci numbers now, they can kind of be taken to the next level. There's something called the golden ratio. And the golden ratio is 0 0.618. And this, again, is another number that we find in nature. We find it in plants. We find it in structures. We find it in the natural order of things. When you see something and it has sections to it, generally, one section will be 0.618 of the size of another section. Now, how does this 0.618 number come about? Well, if you take two numbers of this Fibonacci sequence and divide them, like the 34 divided by the 55 gives you 0.618. So if I put that in my calculator, 34 divided by 55, we get 0 0.618, 1818818. If I do another set, the 55 divided by the 89, 55 divided by 89, gives me 0 0.6179, which is rounded up to 0 0.618. And the bigger these numbers get, the more 
accurate they are when it comes to 0.618. They get closer and closer, the bigger these numbers get. So we have a ratio in between these numbers. Now, if you were to divide them the other way, 55 divided by 34, for example, 55 divided by 34, you get 1.618. In this case, it's 1.6176, which could be rounded up to 1.618. Let's take a look at something here like this. Uh, we'll go 377 divided by 233 gives us 1.618025751 and so on. So we get closer and closer to that 1.618 number. Now, if we can take some huge Fibonacci numbers out of the sequence, we would get 1.618000479 or something like that. They get closer and closer to this ratio. And this is where Fibonacci retracements come from. So if I take a look at a couple of different Fibonacci retracements that I've got drawn on the chart here. We've got to move up and the retracement of the market will generally come down to a 6.18 or a 0.618 level. We've got this marked as a 61.8 because this is 61.8% of a full retracement, which is 0.618. So we've got a 0.618 retracement of the initial move before the market takes off. Again, this is very organic, it's very natural. And we'll find this all over the place. We've got a couple more marked off here. So we have a market move down and it retraces up to the 0.618 or the 61.8% level. So this move up is 61.8% of this entire move. And again, we have a move up, and a retrace to the 0.618 or the 61.8% level, and then the market takes off from there. And this is a pullback that we're going to see in the markets over and over and over again. It's so common that every trader generally knows about these Fibonacci numbers. They may not know what the sequence is, where the numbers come from, but the 61.8% retrace is almost ingrained in every trader's mind. They know that number. Now the opposite is 38.2. So we have a movement and a pullback of 61.8% and the remaining space is 38.2%. And this is something that we're gonna see over and over again in nature itself. If you Google it, if you go online, you're going to see these numbers in seashells, you're gonna see them in flowers, you're gonna see them in fruits and vegetables, you're gonna see them in uh, animals, you're gonna see them in grasses and leaves and trees and all kinds of things. People have the 0.618 ratio within them as well. Distance of their torso and their legs and so on like this. So we have this number being a very natural thing and because of its natural aspect or its relationship to nature itself, the market being as organic as it is, being moved by human beings, tends to follow along with the Fibonacci numbers, the golden ratio, the Fibonacci sequence, and so on. So instead of fighting it, I go with it. So I'm going to use the Fibonacci sequence, and I'm going to really observe the golden ratio, that 0.618 number, in all of my trading. I suggest if you are trying to find some really good numbers for moving averages or settings for some indicators, try some of these Fibonacci numbers and see what you think. I think you're gonna be surprised.